And now, live from Christiansburg, Virginia, it's God Squad Live. Hello, and welcome to God Squad Live. I'm Caleb. I'm Elijah. And I'm Stephen. Each week, we will bring you the latest stories about what God is doing. Today, we are going to talk about when Jesus was dedicated as a baby. So let's get started. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel had told them to. One day when Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple, temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law. The law that God gave Moses said when a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented the, Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was there. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. And guess what? We have Simeon joining us today on God Squad Live. Welcome, Simeon. Thank you, brother, for coming all this way to join us for a minute. Since your name starts with an S like me, I get to ask you the first question. We are talking about today about the day you went to the temple all to, and met Jesus. How did you know you were supposed to go that day? Well, God told me that I would live long enough to see Jesus. You guys are smart in God's squad. You guys know that God speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit told me to go to the temple that day. What happened when you got to the temple? Well, I got to the temple and the Holy Spirit, Spirit helped me recognize who Jesus was. He was with his parents and he was only a few weeks old. I told his parents that I knew Jesus was the promised Messiah. They let me hold Jesus in my arms for a little while. I was so happy that I got to see and hold Jesus. What else did you tell Mary and Joseph? I told them that Jesus would save God's people. I told them what an honor it was for them to be his earthly parents. I also told them it would be hard. I think Mary and Joseph were pretty amazed at what I told them. I prayed and blessed them. After that experience in the temple, what did you tell God? I told the Lord, Lord, you I am ready to die. <laughs> you kept your promise, and so that now I can die. It was the experience of a lifetime. Is there any advice you would have for the boys and girls today? Yes. Learn how to listen to the Holy Spirit. He will guide you and teach you what you should do. Thank you so much, brother, for coming to join us today. Yes, we enjoyed having you. Thanks. I'll see you in heaven. And so it might be Sunday, you will see Jesus face to face. Bye. Whoa, whoa, see him. Um, so how did he get that? Oh. Anyway, a woman named Anna was at the temple that day too. I believe that she is planning to join us now too. Yes, let's welcome Anna. Hi, Sister Anna. Tell us about your early life. I got married when I was young and lived with my husband for seven years. Unfortunately, he died early and I was a widow for the rest of my life. What did you do all that time? Most of the time, I stayed at the temple and worshipped God. He helped me a lot, but I often fasted and prayed. Tell us about the day that you met Jesus at the temple. The Holy Spirit told me that Jesus would is going to be at the temple. He showed me who Jesus was at the temple that day. What did you do there at the temple? I came up to Mary, Joseph, and Jesus. Actually, Simeon was there too. I immediately thanked God for Jesus at that time. I told everyone there about Jesus and how he was the answer to our prayers. He was going to save the people. People waited a long time for him. 
Is there anything else that you would like to share today? Well, that was the highlight of my life. It's hard to wait for things sometimes, but that was an experience worth waiting for. Thanks for coming to visit us with us today. Yes, th thank you, Sister Anna. I will see you again soon. Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law and returned to their home in Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. By the way, we have one more guest who would like to join us today. Yes, our next guest would like to tell us a little bit about baby dedication and what it is. Yes, we would like to welcome Pastor Dave to the God Squad Show. Woo! Welcome. Thanks, God Squad. It is good to be here. Well, I work here, but it's still good. I hear that you are the children's pastor at Grace Life Baptist Church. Can you tell us a little bit about baby dedication? Yes, a matter of fact, I can. We like to encourage our moms and dads to teach their sons and daughters about Jesus from an early age. We typically have a Sunday where we invite our parents to bring their babies to church and they promise to raise their children in Christian home and teach them about Jesus so that hopefully one day they will become Christian. So we have been talking about the story about Jesus, the education at the temple today. What would you like for the boys and girls to remember about that story? I would like them to remember that Jesus was dedicated as a baby like some of them were. And Simeon and Anna listened to the Holy Spirit and obeyed him. And I'd like to see um, boys and girls listen to the Holy Spirit and obey Him, too. Thank you for joining us for today's show. We'll see you soon. Bye. That's about all we have for today's show. Join us next time when we talk about Jesus as a young boy. Goodbye.